unfortunately a sad note, Michael Clark Dun Duncan has left us. And in true Moss Pit style, we do not have a moment of silence because we are like Vikings here. We celebrate the dead as they go on their venture to Valhalla. Today, yeah. I want us to have 10 seconds of loudness for the dead. Michael Clark Dun Duncan, <laughs> scream yes! <laughs> I'm sure wherever he is, a group of white people rallying together, screaming, has not comforted him. <laughs> we also have invited you to join the noob contest we had tonight. Woo! Fuck yes, you did. We got to see a lot of interesting things. We saw a white man rap the N-word. We saw, we saw a, uh, a guy do a set about beating women for five minutes. We got to see a man shave his head. Well, the joke ends with Jesus Christ being compared to a Rottweiler. I'm a white, fat, hairy guy in a Hawaiian shirt. I'm really drunk. I'm gonna punch her in the eye. <laughs> yeah, Mom! How are you doing? Woo! Guy before me shaved his head. Kind of a tough act to follow. <laughs> Bitch, nigga, that's that shit I don't like. A snitch, nigga, that's that shit I don't like. Something like that. And a lot of people don't think I have the guts to shave my head here tonight. <laughs> Just kidding, I get it waxed. Brazilian bitches! There's a crash at the end of that runway. Uh... Before we go any further, we gotta thank tonight's sponsors. Of course, Be Here Now, the greatest destination yeah. for comedy in the universe. Yeah. We also gotta thank Mountain Dew. Like an angel's piss, that shit is gold. <laughs> and Vagisil. Use it, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> now on to the news. There was a reverse in the uh, ruling of the Miss Universe contest, and they will now allow transgendered people to compete. This is true news. Which prompted me to think of what would be my transgendered name, and here it is. Mary J. Bulge. <laughs> and in internet news, which could be made up, uh, uh, eBay has announced new rules and you can no longer buy potions, spells, or curses. Like, that literally is true. You can't do that anymore. So now eBay has finally put a lockdown on make believe. <laughs> oh, in tragic news, uh, there was an explosion at the fruit roll up factory. Uh, very Berry Grape and Crazy Strawberry were mixed. But the factory was shut down for clear negligence as there are explosions every month. Also child labor. Uh, <laughs> Did anyone else hear about the news that happened with LL Cool J like two weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah. So, so some guy broke into his house and then LL Cool J beat the shit out of him. Which is, yeah, mama said knock you out. And uh, the, the details of the encounter actually was just released today. The police report is hilarious. Supposedly when, the, when LL Cool J started running after the guy, he picked up a stack of LL CDs and started throwing them at him. But unfortunately, like at the LL CDs he threw, no real hits. Oh. <laughs> if he were here, I would not tell that joke. <laughs> And in political news, Mitt Romney has fallen under criticism for accidentally using the word crippled during an interview, which is insensitive, it's wrong, it's also outdated. I think most of you were, were raised the exact same way that I was raised. We do not ever use the word crippled. The way I was raised, we were always told, just don't talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go any further, I gotta thank more of our tonight's sponsors. Tonight's show was also brought to you by Chauvinist Tony's House of Shit Chicks Just Don't Understand. <laughs> uh, prices are one dollar for men, women are worth three fourths that of. Um, uh, now back to the news, and another unfortunate death Count Von Count, the Muppet who taught us how, all how to count, has passed on. The OCD vampire who never killed anyone nor sucked their sustenance has left us, unfortunately. Uh, he is six feet under. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway. <laughs> that joke seemed really obvious, but uh, apparently not. Cool. Uh, today in the news, uh, there's a lot of celebrity sex tapes, which I, I try and make a point of watching each and every one of them, even Screech, and that was a mistake. And, uh... Oh, man. 
Dirty Sanchez. Anyway, uh, uh, there was a celebrity sex ta tape released today that features two mimes having sex. I would tell you what it's like, but the things they did were unspeakable. Oh. Celebrity News, Rob Snyder has taken up juggling and has now started to work with the homeless. I made up that news, but I just wanted to prove the point that nobody gives a shit what Rob Snyder's doing. Yep. <laughs> and in news, and you gotta cheer for this, Jersey Shore has been canceled. Yes! <laughs> Which begs the question, what are they all gonna do now for not work? Uh, I'm hoping, I, I'm ho actually hoping the situation takes up the spot that's open now on Sesame Street, starts teaching kids to count. One, fish, fish pump. Two, fist pump. Line. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, subtext there is that he is an idiot. Uh, and in uh, other news, Nicki Minaj is releasing her new politically inspired single that's going to be uh, released this coming Tuesday on the 11th, uh, which, I don't know if you all know this, is the most tragic thing to ever happen in America on September 11th. <laughs> I got an applause break on a 9-11 joke. It has been long enough. That is good. Before I go any further, I have something very uh, important to know, uh, or that you might be interested in. Would you like to know who won the noob contest? Yeah! It was an exciting contest, and when I heard Comedy Mosh Pit was going to show us their noobs, I got excited. Uh, here, here it is. I'm going to start by listing the worst pe people, and then all the way up to the best person. Kyle Ruiz, worst. <laughs> No, I'm not going to list everyone else. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your new champion. And give her a happy birthday. Make it special. Hey. You won. I'm going to take it off that. Uh, can you tell us uh, how old are you? 22. And how drunk are you? 22. <laughs> For those of you out there, .08 might not be the only thing she blows tonight. Okay. Uh, okay. You're beautifully gorgeous. I, I want to know, are you going to continue doing stamp comedy? Are you going to come back and give it another shot? Yes. She reluctantly said yes. In, in one month, Comedy Mosh Pit, or not one month, uh, October. Starting in October, we have the Comedy Mosh Pit. Indiana, king of comedy, and we really, really hope that you come back for that. I think they could do something cool like wave the fee if you enter or something. Yeah. He's, he's shaking his head no, but he said yes. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. That's all the interview I'm going to do other than saying very, very happy birthday. And I want all of us to say uh, a loud yell of happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday! Thank you, everyone. She was fantastic, and she's the designated driver. That's uh, fantastic. Thank you all so much. That's been my time. That's been the Comedy Mosh Pit News. Thank you all so much. Thank you to all the news. Give it up for Ryan Mast, everybody.